start with the fact that you should never sag your pants. I don't know why. Please do not, for the love of God, sag your pants. That's all I'm saying, because literally, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No one wants to see your fucking cheeks. I just want to say that now. Literally, no one wants to see your fucking ass cheeks. That either looks like sexual harassment or just like your gay as It's that time of year again and rent is due back to school outfits a lot of people really are prideful of what they wear on the first okay i'm never really that prideful whenever i'm wearing my first like in and everybody's got their best outfit on like if i was going back to my college this year i can 100 percent guarantee you that there's gonna be one person that at least pulls some crazy ass what the hell person. when i was going back i did not low key when i said i i never really cared like i would okay first of all i'm not wearing what, what the fuck is this oh, an annoying orange okay I would never wear like something like totally embarrassing, but I would wear something like either casual or I just wear something like some of the new clothing my parents bought me. But like I wouldn't look like, oh, let me pull out all my drip and like just show everyone like, you know, I was doing shit during the summer not care what i want because loki I, I really did not care extent, of course because i'm not pulling up in a yeah this is what i'm talking about like who who I pulls up with this crazy i wore like the most generic outfit you could think of i'm not the exact person that should be speaking on this topic but here we are all right so let's start with the backpack so backpack. i think this is an important pick because well you're stuck with that shit all year so picking up well, unless you get it like a like cheap a bag, bag then the bricks you're stuck with it for the year I mean, unless you really want to get a new one. I never did, but in some scenarios, I, I sometimes did. should have got a new one. I just remember one year in elementary school, I picked like some ugly ass backpack. So yeah, when you're shopping for your back to school stuff, your 10 folders or whatever the hell they make you get. So when you pick a backpack, it's just like folders, book bags and pencils. want to flashbang the entire school. Pick one that is, you know, <laughs> flash a very sleek design. And also don't get a backpack with like a bunch of compartments and that's super hefty looking. Because a lot of the times what I pick picked a backpack i'm like damn bro i look like a nerd carrying around this big ass fucking boulder on my back i would bring everything that i had that was school supplies i don't know why okay tip for when you're picking out a book bag in my opinion all right if you're at elementary school you most likely you're gonna pick it with your like your parents so just pick something you think looks all right i don't know it could be like anything like from a cartoon or the anime when you get to like middle school or in high school you should eventually start getting shit that's like you know a little bit more like like adultish in my opinion why? I couldn't just leave shit home. Cause Loki, I never picked and anything of expensive. I was carrying around this big ass trapper keeper on my backpack too. So I was just see whenever I had like a, a laptop and it look, it would look song like that. With you all the time. And now for the shoes, like everybody <laughs> is locked in on shoe game nowadays. So I feel like it's pretty important. Do not wear these shoes. So, yeah, don't wear them. Beat up Air Force. Don't wear a beat up. Of Air Force. Like unless you're doing a sport, then it's fine. But on it, they're creased. To Come on shit. now. I don't know why the hell you're wearing them. Come on now. You should have better shoes purpose like if they're a little bit beat up okay if they're like muddy as hell they're carrying around now, especially dirt, muddy how the you wearing them i like, don't know the past couple please of years, clean those shits like i saw people with but i don't know why when i say some of my shoes are dirty but i make sure to clean them at least they're beat up air force and they're not like that dirty crocs or shrek crocs please don't wear these so first and it's foremost, a good thing i got regular crocs crocs are overrated I, I had to say it i'm sorry in my opinion no way he just said Crocs are overrated. I mean, hey, I, I rock with Crocs, honestly. I rock Crocs more than like, you know, slides or flip-flops, but it's like, it's because it's more, a little bit comfy. You can do, you can pretty much customize it. Meanwhile, with slides, it's like, because it's like, kind of just they shouldn't be that dirty. I don't see the vision with like, it's very like easy to actually clean shoes. In like elementary school. And especially the Shrocks. Holy hell. <laughs> the Shrocks. At least I could give that to the Lightning McQueen Crocs. You know, they're not ugly. But the Shrocks, bro, I don't know why the shoe has a nose, but it does. Hey. Yeezy Shh. Foam Runners. I'm sorry. I had to say it. They're foam ugly. Runners are all right. Don't get mm. me wrong. I'm sure. Like, I fuck with Foam Runners. Too. All right, I will say that, but the design just looks goofy. Like, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't wear this. 
And not only that, a lot of these shoes are super expensive too. I remember a friend of- Yeah, most shoes nowadays cost uh, uh, around like 200 to uh, like $700. These Crocs are not $200 worth. I'm sorry, that's just the truth. In my opinion, I don't know. I just can't see myself wearing Crocs either. Like the overall design of Crocs. I don't know, I, I just don't like it. Like I wouldn't really wear Crocs unless I was like at the beach or something. Okay, that, that, that's fair. That, 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 that's low-key fair. I'm not, not even gonna lie. lie. I don't know, I kind of just grew out of life. Them. But if you wear Crocs, you do you, I guess. I I'm not gonna hate. Anyways, on to the shirt. You know, I think the shirt is an important part of the definitely because that's what a lot of people are gonna be seeing. At your shirt, like either your shirt or your hoodie. First impression of you without talking to you, if that makes sense. That's why what you wear is important. You know, you gotta make sure you're proud of what you're wearing. And of course, at home, you could probably get away with wearing some goofy ass shit. Or um, that doesn't look alright. When you enter school, it's a completely different environment. So you really gotta shape up the fit. All right. So if you're going to high school, leave this goddamn creeper hoodie in the past. All right. Please don't. Yeah. Okay. Tips for wearing shirts: Don't wear like like some type of YouTuber merch or something like that. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe some YouTube merch is fine. Like if you're, if you're wearing something like I don't know, like Mr. Beast or something, or probably like I don't know. KSI, probably I Show Speed, probably AMP, like shit like that. But if it's something like, I don't know, like a Minecraft YouTuber, like Annoying Orange, maybe SML, cause mm, like you, you respectfully, you might get bullied. If I see someone wear it, I would probably just say, hey, nice, nice hoodie, because like, you know, I, I like these YouTubers, but it's like the merch. Don't bring it. Like, I used to wear this thing and... Keep keep, keep the like creeper merch in, in elementary, school. elementary school. Keep that shit in elementary school. Elementary or middle school. It was like, I like video games, but... I will say. This... There's just some hoodies and shirts you gotta leave in the past. Yeah, like, okay. Pokemon and Mario. Uh, yeah, that too. Like, I, I'm a big fan of them, but... This hard to the point where they'll wear a Cheetos hoodie and the I hate these shits, Loki. I hate these. I hate the fuck out of these shits. Not even gonna lie. Shirts like this. Yeah, just leave that one in the closet. Don't worry. We got the class. Because that just looks like sexual oh, harassment. Here. And I've seen people actually wear shirts like that before. I guess he had to personally let everybody know. Uh, that he had his I, I think I actually have a shirt like this, actually. So I think it's all right. Yeah. It just shows. It just the depends, honestly. Of this individual. Now, of course, when it gets colder out, you know, you're going to have to wear hoodies. And one of the most important things I have to say, and I can't believe I have to say this. Do not wear that one anime hoodie. Just don't wear it. Please just. Okay. Okay. No disrespect, no disrespect, because I actually agree with this. But I feel like straight like anime like hoodies is like kind of all right. Like as someone who care who like collects a lot of hoodies because I get sick very easily during like the fall and winter season. I never really get anime shirts, anime anime shirts or anime hoodies like this because like okay, like because this just looks like you're you being a fucking creep. Honestly, this look honestly low key when I say a lot of people probably bully you because you're probably a loser for everybody else to say but definitely anime and minecraft don't don't wear those shits i've seen people wear that when i was in high school and it was just embarrassing it was i've never look i would actually just laugh at them well i would be like life. But please don't talk pants, to me bro i think it's important to start with the fact that you should never sag your pants i don't know why please do not for the love of god sag your pants your that's pants. all i'm saying because literally hold up hold up hold up hold up no one wants to see your fucking cheeks i just want to say that now literally no one wants to see your fucking ashes that either looks like sexual harassment or just like your gift like the amount of times i would see like a uh, like a freshman or a sophomore sag their pants i'm like please sag your fucking please pick up your damn pants where about and honestly, if I was wearing these, I would just be waddling around, bro. And I wouldn't be able to move. Like, it would just feel so weird to walk. The Atlanta skinny jeans. I don't know how a human can walk around in these and feel <laughs> comfortable. But do not wear mismatching pants either. Like, if your shirt's red, do not wear green pants. Yeah, that never matches either. And I that, that never matches either. Like, like all the time. And I don't know. I just looked so stupid. The whole point. Like, I actually think I actually done this before. And I made sure I never done this like, mistake again. Where I was like wearing something like green black and an orange the shoes of the winter How's that? do not wear shorts bro i was that kid all right i'm speaking for thankfully i was never this kid because you funny and same i thing got sick wear, like, easily all these coats in the summer like, but yeah why are people wearing shorts in winter coats. but when it starts that becoming summer they, lo they wear long you pants know, some people like to wear a watch you know which is cool some people like to wear bracelets and all that stuff and i think that's cool but some people pull up to school with like the weirdest accessories on nah like it one time it wasn't even even Halloween and this person pulled up in like a Harry Potter cape. <laughs> what the hell? And I don't know why people pull up wearing fursuits either. You know, I personally think it's weird, but 
I'm not gonna hate on somebody for doing that in their free time, whatever. But it's another thing if you pull up to school wearing the suit, you're barking on all fours. Oh hell, oh hell nah. Nah, there's no way niggas are actually doing this. Low key, the accessories I bring to school are like are like my Apple Watch and then and then like my headphones and then like a neck or like a chain or something but that's basically it if i didn't say like the weirdest one it's like like you guys know like p uh pjs like you know pj day like where you wear like your pajamas or something like that the weirdest one and you guys probably already know i have it is like like literally my stitch i onesie it's just crazy to me bro some people walked around with like a tail on cat ears it's wild yeah bro you gotta keep that shit at home big dog i'm not trying to see that. <laughs> big dog yeah, i never seen anything like that at college but yeah in high school i definitely have and now i think i probably all right do not pull up to school wearing that's all right loki i've seen people pull up with a fedora and the trench coat to match and as a lot of you may know where should i see mass it's an extremely bad please do not wear a shiesty mask to school that's all i'm gonna say please do not wear a fucking shit this too this too i always hate the girls that do this crap like they just spawn in i don't care how hot you are please stop doing this shit like those big like just and they have like super long nails like wouldn't that just annoy you and i don't know how the hell they ate hot cheetos at seven in the morning that was just insane to me but this part of the outfit all right it makes or breaks okay like if this is not on point you're cooked it's not really a part of the outfit but it's a part of the look if that makes sense your haircut and of course oh uh, yeah i can agree with this one low-key shave that shit off bro let's start with the edgar cut i don't know why the hell please cut that shit off this in the big 24 i only see a edgar few boys actually like rock with it one but most of it, like 95 percent of the time that shit's ass where I go, like to I like two packs of ass with an edgar cut but this haircut I, I just see so frequently i'm done i don't know what to do anymore bro every public place i go like probably i'd say like half the time i see somebody with this haircut it's not really a haircut it's more or less like a look the mullet mustache combo i don't know this too like, like they're all the same guy they're clones of each other i'm just kidding but like just, how the hell do you have this in high school have this haircut but i guess they're trying to revive the mullet look you know it's not really a bad haircut i would say it's just so common like way too common i just feel like i'm going crazy but next we have the certified lover boy haircut uh, oh no yeah cut that way. off he cut it the, off I don't know why the hell do not wear a drink type of bro. haircut no reason for you to still uh, if you if you rock that then immediately everyone's gonna call you a pedophile like then like the end of a heart but even pre-beef like this haircut was goofy to begin with i never liked it you know i just always thought people who got this haircut were just extreme drake glazers next we got that justin bieber haircut like it's not 2010 anymore you gotta cut that out hair off i used to keep my hair i swear to god so many boys only got this because justin bieber got so many girls and they thought my hair would just they would have to do the same thing like i couldn't even see what the fuck i was doing half the time but yeah man i know a lot of you missed the school video it was back to school season so i figured i'd post one i got more different types of videos on the way you guys want to watch my video last the pain of going back to school hmm. click on the end screen Serious, that was the video. We guys did a video. Loki, when I say I agree with literally all the points he made in this video, not gonna lie. Like, like there's certain parts of the fits you need to worry about, but if I had to say like the main two, right? I would probably say either the shoes or a little bit about the shirt. Now, shoes, I know, like, since shoes are very, like, expensive nowadays, sometimes it really doesn't matter as long as you have something that looks, like, I don't know, nice or, I don't know, looks trendier a little bit. But if it's, like, you don't have, you didn't get, like, new shoes and you can't right now because, I don't know, like, financial aid or whatever, then just wear anything that looks that looks good with your fit. Because low-key, when I say that, sometimes people really don't care about the shoes, like, let's be honest. Like, I wish you're wearing something that's, like, very old or something that's, like, a, like a discount off brand like like shoes you got from timu and no, not everyone's really gonna care about the shoes meanwhile for the shirt basically just wear anything like as long as it doesn't have something like embarrassing or something like a weird anime or cartoon shirt then like you, you should be fine in my opinion but yeah that's that's what i think uh first shoes then once you do that figure out what you what shirt color can go with the shoes then after that just get the pants then the hoodie that's like you should be fine like low-key that's how i do it and low-key i always great i always grab like some type of great fit not even gonna lie but yeah that was the video hope you guys enjoyed the video please grab the bell and if i win i upload a new video comment what do you guys want to add to next so that was the video i'll see you guys later bye